All right, I put in a new carbon graphite blades, and this is gonna be an old school test. No telemetry, no digital, just plugging in a battery, little timer on the side, timer on my phone, and trying to see if, um, how long it'll last. Ready, Chicho? Come on, let's go. And based on that, I don't know, uh, I think a couple of the blades are vibrating. So this way I'll take a look at the blades up close, see which one's doing the most vibration, and adjust based on that. All right, and then I got my timer set for 12 minutes on the control. Let me go ahead and uh, turn this on. So you can get some satellites here, at least one or two, so this thing can take off. All right, and then I'm gonna get my old school timer here. Stopwatch. Set that up. Give this thing a couple of seconds to pick up satellites. Hmm. Must be a cloudy morning. I don't see I even picking up one. Definitely a cloudy day. There you go. One, two, three, four. All right, good. We got a pulse. Hooray! All right, let me unlock the motors and start my timer. All right. Here we go. Let me keep my eyes on the timer. And keep my eyes on the uh, battery monitor. They're nice and quiet, these blades. Eleven point eight. <clears throat> A little wobbly there. Obviously one of the blades are not that balanced. Well this is a battery test right now more than anything else. Eleven point six. I can definitely see the right front motor vibrating a lot and the left rear I think a little bit of a wobble there going on I'm at 57% battery right now Come on. a wobble going on there 60% battery right there. That's actually a little more stable at 60%. Come on, stop pulling, man. So it's definitely heavy for those blades, but actually at 60% it's actually pretty smooth. All right, All right there it's just hovering. Oh, a lot quieter. But definitely once we adjust these blades a little tighter. Yeah, you see that the front right one is really going at it now. Alright, my time is 11.4 on the battery. Not bad. But yeah, we got a lot of vibration in that right front one. Alright. Let's try satellite lock. Right there we're on satellite lock. Woohoo! It goes too high on satellite lock. You gotta make sure I tell it what 50% is. Right there, we're on satellite lock. But yeah, I guess it still doesn't know what 50% is because uh, it wants to go a little high. All right, let's take it off the satellite lock. Bring it down. I'll have to tweak that. 11.3. All right, we're doing good. Bring it down. 
eight minutes, 45 seconds left based on my calculated time. So we definitely got to fix that vibration. It's a major vibration in the front there. All right, I'm gonna bring it down for a second. I'm gonna make sure that that motor is not overheating. All right, let me lock this in place. Okay. Wow, that's actually not bad. Holy crap, they're cold. <laughs> Oh shit, okay, that's a good sign. Before they used to be like explosive piping hot. I mean this one's a little warm because of the crazy vibration that it's doing, but this one's hot because it's compensating for this one. But wow, it's actually cool. <laughs> Alright, let's get back up there. At least I'm not worried about overheating. So technically percent of, uh, on this guy, 61% it's, it's hover. So, come on. Now let's trim it out, so. Gotta find its perfect hover point right now. Okay, right now, 63%. It's what its hover is. This is no satellite lock. This is just itself drifting. I'm going to trim it a little bit forward and a little bit to the right. That's going to naturally pull a little bit more back because there's no camera on there. I just, I'm just trying battery right now. Yeah, I think once I adjust that little vibration that the front motor has, this is going to be smooth as hell. I'm going to save the trims once I'm done too. Yeah, that's awesome. Look at that. No satellite lock. It's just drifting by itself. <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh, wasn't too happy the other day how it was behaving, but it's actually pretty nice now. All right, right there, it's on its own trim. It's pure trim, no satellite lock, no nothing. Awesome. Awesome. And those are cheap $6 ESCs. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I got these uh, carbon graphite blades. I pay a little extra for them, but they're nice. Over at... um. A maniac that wants to drop off a, a hex for repair for a friend of mine's and I saw they had them on the dash a little expensive like $22 a pack of two um, but they're nice they're they're balanced very well so far let me see my battery I'm looking at 11.0 nice and I can go to 10.7 four minutes Fly around a little bit. Take a little voyage there. That's awesome, man. Look at that. I mean, again, it's just little trims here and there, but so far, so good. Okay, let me bring it back to me.
10.9. Alright, now I'm nearing the, uh, the flight. And I'll bring it down at 10.8 just to be, not to push it. Because uh, obviously with the camera equipment and everything else, it's a little less. I was definitely happier at uh, 60, 65%. Right, it's pretty responsive. Forward, smooth, back. Left to right, so far so good. I'm happy with Frankie. Short for Frankenstein. A lot of Chinese parts on the F550 DJI. So look at 10.9 on the meter. I got two minutes on my initial 12 minutes, so we're looking at 10 minutes on the flight without the, uh, the SPV gear on. That's not bad. I wonder how I do with the second battery. I might not do a second battery because um, if I'm already at 60% to get up, 66.5 is my hover right there. That's a little high. I mean, 50% should be hover, but again, it's a bigger payload. This thing is four pounds. All right, 10.8, I'm going to bring it down. All right, 10.8, right there, in flight. I mean, obviously now it's back to 11.1 .1 because I stopped, but uh, let's see the motors. <laughs> wow, oh wow, this one's a little hot. Let me see. That one's okay. That one's just okay. That one's good. Yeah, it's hot because of the trimming. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, save my trims. That's it. My trims are saved. I'll turn off the control now and I'll unplug it. Perfect. Now, next time I go out, I set, I, um, I put save trims on my, uh, on my channel 8. So now next time I take it out, I'll set my trims all back to zero and it should be trimmed out based on what it just flew. I'll adjust the blades that are vibrating and um, man, I'm happy. I mean, yes, it wasn't a crazy uh, amount of time. Uh, it ended up being about 10 minutes, uh, give or take. Um, obviously this thing went over because I stopped it and it, it kept going. Uh, it shows 12, but I don't think it hit 12. Well, that's the two last minutes of me disconnecting and walking over here and coming back. Wow, there's a lot of vibration. Look at this. <laughs> Some of this stuff came apart. That's kind of cool. All right. Guys, you ready to go? Yeah. All right, cool. Get your stuff. We had a good, awesome flight in the morning.